This is the year 2011. Massive Vietnamese immigrants have been coming over to the United States of America after 1975, the fall of Saigon and the end of the Vietnam War. Because of the horrible situations Vietnamese immigrants were in during the Vietnam War, they pressured their children to do well in school in America because they believed that it is the ticket out of poverty. Vietnamese parents expect their children to excel in school. They expect too much from me. It's just, I can't handle it. My parents expect me to get good grades. They expect me to have straight A's, B.I.B., A.P., all the other stuff. They expect a lot of things because you know how for a lot of us, we come from immigrant parents, right? So we have like these huge families and they're always comparing to my older cousin. And then since my mom has like a whole bunch of older brothers and sisters, they say like, oh yeah, your cousin went to MIT, your cousin went to this Harvard, and they expect me to go to those school too. Aside from getting straight A's, these children are also expected to do extracurricular activities in which they are expected to excel in. I'm a victim of the IV program. I wrestle, I did Taekwondo. I take piano for the past since I was three, basically. And then, in addition to that, I had to do volunteering, and then sports. I'm in three sports, and ten clubs. I also <laughs> am doing Boy Scouts, but my parents want me to keep going with it even though I don't want to. With the pressure put upon them, these students are sleep deprived, stressed out, and unmotivated to do well in school. Every morning, they get up knowing that they will have another long day to survive through and another truckload of homework to finish. I'm taking six AP classes. Very stressful. Honestly, I just want to sleep forever. Don't want to wake up, because I know if I wake up, there's work. The way I feel every day is less than great. I don't feel perfect, I feel ugly, and I need some loving. When I wake up in the morning, I don't really have much motivation to go to school because it's just more work. And then I get home and it's more work and I don't think there's any free time at all. These students have no lives because all they are expected to do is get straight A's. However, in order to do that, they have to sacrifice their sleep time, their health, and their interests. Many people, other than the awesome me, have noticed these Vietnamese students struggling to survive every single day. Some teachers notice and sympathize with these students while some teachers cannot because they are just plain heartless. I have noticed that some Asian students do seem um, stressed out, maybe a little more tired, they work a little harder. So it's definitely something I notice as a teacher. They tell me that they feel there's a cultural emphasis in Asian cultures, especially Vietnamese culture, on students excelling. Oh, I think that's that's just the way it goes. That's 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 life. That's that's tough. That's the way they were brought up. And that's what ha the way it has to be. Most Vietnamese parents want their children to become doctors, lawyers, or professions that can make a lot of money. However. Most students are not interested in any of these fields of study. Their parents care very much that they go into one of the um, well-known professions, doctors, lawyers, and specifically, you know, medical seems to be a big one. Engineering is also another big one. Because everyone wants to be a doctor. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's where all the money is. Doctors make lots of money. Money, money, money. Probably partly to do with the fact that a lot of these students are recent immigrants to the United States. They come from very poor countries. The parents do. Most people want something better for their children than they had in their own lives. And so it's possible that they see these careers as a ticket to better lives for their children. Asian parents always want their kids to do better than they did. A lot of the Asian parents are immigrants, so they want to make sure that their legacy is going to be their children. As you can see folks, Vietnamese students are suffering at American schools. Some students might resort to self-harm, drugs, or suicide, but there's nothing we can do about that because that is just life. According to what Mr. Heartless said, what can we do about it? Nothing.